Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review the EMA setup. Very useful for trending markets like Standard & Poor's. We have a 600 and tick chart. And the horizontal lines are spaced two points, eight ticks. So we have $100 of separation. So we have a reference of the needed stop and the possible targets that, that we can we can get. For example, if we trade this pullback and we enter at 20.04, then we can expect a first target of two points, $100, and we should locate or stop near, if this is our entry, near two points, maybe three points. So we can try a second target if it is fixed of uh, $200 four point or maybe more if we if we use a trailing stop let's see the um, uh, a moving average so we can see how who is the performance how is the movement of the market around the moving average this is an exponential moving average of 50 and as we can see maybe a little lower when the market is far enough from the moving average usually we have a bounce from above or from below to have a better idea let's use the custom indicator this ama using a moving average of 60 and an envelope of uh, 14 ticks just slighter, slightly higher than the stop the blue dotted line or red dotted line is the moving average and this is our entry and when market is on sideways it is never touching the bands so we have gray bars and we don't have entries but when when market breaks to the upside or to the downside like on this example it touches the upper channel so it is ready to enter along on the moving average same on this example touches the lower band so now we are interested in shorting the red dots which are located at the moving average if we change the size of the channel we can uh, change the sensibility of the system we can have more or less signals let's say we change it to 7 to the half now we have a lot more signals this last one is a loser and there we have a short loser long winner if we and if we make it uh, bigger this is a period no if we make the envelope bigger then we get uh, less signals only only the first one is an entry and the previous day we have only a few shorts so changing the size of the envelope we can change the sensibility of the system I will put it again on the middle this indicator also has audio alerts which I am turning off
and if we want to automate these signals uh, for example if you want to trade this manually when we have gray bars we don't do nothing at, at this moment we have blue bars and blue dots at this moment we place a buy stop over the dot and then we keep updating the entry price as the dot moves until we get a fill but as you can see we get also the arrows painted when there is an entry so we can use marker plus to automate the entries we only need to automate to program our, uh, blue arrows for enter long and red arrows for enter short we can try it on replay and we set a starting time of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. this is almost uh, one hour and a half before market opens right, we need to select an ATM for example this is an ATM of two contracts with a profit target of two points and a stop loss of three points this is for the first target for the second target I am using um, six points of target with a trailing stop of two points the idea is when we get our target one we can move our second target to the most close um, support or resistance let's make a market replay we enable the longs the shorts and automatic mode so it executes all the signals if we set it on manual and only long then it will trade the next long signal and then will stop so we manage the trade by ourselves but if we set it to, to automatic it will trade all the signals by now the signals are ignored because we are outside the time windows and when we approach to 10 like now we are inside the trade window so the, the next signal should be executed currently we are at 200 times the normal speed and by now we are on sideways bars are grey so we need the market to break anyway to the upside or to the downside to be trade ready now we are breaking to the upside so we are tra trade ready for longs Order filled. we have a long signal with a fill using the ATM that we choose so now we are trading one contract with a fixed target and a second contract with a trailing stop don't forget that we can move the target this is the, the whole idea the second target we should locate it to the most uh, closer um, support or resistance we are again on sideways
And now Order we filled. broke to the downside, so we are short ready. We have an entry. We can move the target if we wish. This was last Friday. There were a few graves as we have seen before. Previous day was a rollover. So it was a very active day. As we can see on, on, on the following um, market replay. We are very close to 6 p.m. So market will stop taking trades like now so we are outside of the time window if we look at the previous day we can see that it was much much uh, moving with a lot of trades so let, let's go to 10 a.m. of the previous day As, as you can see, if we start earlier, we got a long at 7 a.m. local time, and there was also a short signal. So let's wait for our trading time window at 10 a.m. Maybe we need to decrease the speed so we can appreciate much better the trades because we, we had much more trades this day we, we have the first long it was a very very fast move with the target on the on the same bar Order filled. and now we're short Order. another short Order filled. Target. Each time the market gets outside of the envelope, then it is uh, trade ready again. Now we are interested on a long. Order filled. And now we are on sideways. Again, we broke Order to the downside. Filled. So looking for a short. Order filled. Target. Another short. Usually on a trending system, uh, the, the first trade is the best, so we can trade the first, the second, maybe the third, but the more, more trades, the, the more trades we take on the same direction, the lower the possibility, the probability of success. We are possibly reversing the trend on this point. Coming from a double bottom. This was a loser. We are possibly reversing. Not, not moving enough to break the upper band Order going again filled. down so we are short again and we have another short loser now we are breaking to the upside so now we are looking for a long As a general rule, on Order this trending filled. system, we should take only the first or first and second trades per side. We are at 6 p.m., so this is the end for, for the day. And as we can see, the same setup works on a very quiet day and also on a volatile day. This was the EMA setup using the TIS AMA indicator 
which paint the signals and automated by the marker system. Thank you everyone, and if you have any question or comment, please post below this video. Thank you, bye bye.